Good morning and welcome back to PTL, everybody. We are live from PPG Paint, Paints Arena where they are prepping for the first inaugural Steel City Battle of the Badges. What is that, you ask? That's when the City of Pittsburgh Fire Department and Police and Needham Yes Bureaus face off on the ice here at PPG Paints Arena this Saturday. I'm joined by Ralph Securo. He is the head of the Pittsburgh Firefighters Union here. Ralph, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us a little bit about this experience for the Fire Bureau and who you guys are raising money for. Well, first, good morning, Katie. Thanks for having us here. We're so excited about this event here today. Our first responders are always out there in the community doing wonderful things every single day. Now they get an opportunity a unique opportunity to come here and play on a PPG arena's ice mm -hmm. where the Penguins play. And it's for a great cause. Uh, half the money is going to be donated to the Pittsburgh Firefighters Foundation, and the other half is going to the Police uh, Shulo Family Fund. So it's a wonderful opportunity for the public to come here and, and support the first responders and what we're doing for our wonderful event. Uh, so we hope to get a lot of people come out and join us today. Yes, these guys are going to be taking the ice after the Penguins and Tampa Bay Lightning game on Saturday, April the 6th. We also have John Sweetek from the police department. John is donning the gold jersey that you guys will be wearing this Saturday. Now, John, what's the experience like? Typically, you guys are out in the field together, fighting crime, fighting fires, keeping people safe. But for Saturday, you guys are on different sides. Uh, yeah, that's correct. So uh, all I could say is that uh, good luck, fire. And uh, I think we're going to definitely win this game. But uh, no, in all honesty, uh, we do work together as a group, uh, both fire, EMS, and medics. And uh, we're all proud to be here. Wonderful. We're so proud to have you here. And I'm also going to bring in Penguin's president of business operations and also my wonderful husband. Hello, darling. How are you? So, Kevin, Glad we know I we, I don't, well, we did it. So, this is a bit of a heart project for you. The fire and police bureaus are very close to your heart. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration and the Penguins inspiration for bringing this event together. Well, thank you, Katie. Uh, on behalf of the Penguins organization, our ownership group, our captain, Sidney Crosby, and the entire team, we're so thrilled to have you guys here. You know, it means everything to us. You put your lives on the line every day. You're out there fighting fires, keeping the city safe. And the least we can do is have you here uh, to support you. And so I have with me, this is my grandfather's helmet uh, that I got on the day he passed. He was battalion chief too. Um, this is in my office. It has been ever since I've been uh, working. My brother is also a cop, uh, of, so I'm not picking sides. Uh, he's a state trooper, but for us, uh, we hope to make this an annual event. Uh, it's something that we, to call attention uh, to bring you guys down here to play on the same ice that, that we're going to be playing on, on Saturday. Um, the 50-50 proceeds from our game, we're going to donate to the cause as well. Uh, and, and also, we're very uh, honored to support the fire, Fallen Firefighters Fund as well as the Shula family. I, I talked to Paul's uh, parents on Friday, and I, I played at Central Catholic with him, and we all remember uh, it's the 15th anniversary of the three officers we lost on April 4th. So that has something to do with this as well. So it's a very emotional event, something we hope to do every year. Uh, they do this in New York, NYPD, and, and the Fire Bureau play together uh, in a separately ticketed event. That's something we hope to do for years to come. Now, we do have the website information up for how people can acquire tickets, but just a brief once-over. If people are coming to the Penguins game, they also have the opportunity to get a, a ticket for this event? Correct. So uh, this is right after our game against uh, Tampa on Saturday. Uh, if folks want to participate, we'll have the link on your website uh, to, to, uh, to come to the game and stay after. Families and the like who don't want to come to the game with small children, we'll, we'll keep the door open and let them in. Uh, but in the future, we hope this to be a standalone event to raise more money to support these great women, men and women out there who, who keep us safe uh, every day here in the city of Pittsburgh. Wonderful. Thank you so much, darling. Thank, this is the trophy. This is what the guys are battling for. And also, the fire guys do have something that they would like to present to Kevin. Kevin's actually going to be participating as a member of the Fire Bureau hockey team. Why don't you bring that over? Kevin, we, uh, we want you to suit up with us on Saturday, if you don't mind. And they're not picking sides, but... Now you have to. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we got. Thank you so much. Thank Be you. sure to check ptl.com for all the latest info on how to get tickets. You can cheer on the Penguins and the men and women in uniform, Pittsburgh's finest. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Katie, all right. So absolutely important. What a wonderful event. And I love she, she interviewed her husband. I know. Yeah. I thought she was going to say, hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> well, she kind of did there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the Steel City Battle of Badges is this Saturday, April 6th. Yeah, the charity game takes place right after the Pens game. And by the way, at that game, the first 10,000 fans will receive a plush iceberg. Yeah, there you cool. go. And speaking of penguins, be sure to tune in Friday because Mikey and I have a special guest. We'll give you a hint. 
he waddles when he walks, <laughs> and he will be wearing a tuxedo and possibly snacking on fish. Oh, that was a big hit. Yes, oh, no, that was a big <laughs> yeah, hit. Now you kind of know, don't you? All right, well, anyway, tune in on oh, Friday baby. and stay with us right now because up next,